Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. And I haven't had a chance to put up my uh, back screen and it's eight o'clock in the morning, but I noticed there was a new update to Ledger Live. So I'm gonna do a quick video and uh, show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm live from my messy kitchen this morning and uh, I wanted to do a quick video about uh, running this update and maybe talk a little bit about the features of Ledger Live. So let's move over to the screen here. And as you can see, the really nice thing about Ledger Live is that you can look at the value of your current portfolio all of the uh, cryptocurrency that you have stored on the ledger with a couple of exceptions um, but all of these that are compatible with live I can see the current value of my uh, cryptocurrency holdings without having the ledger connected at all and that's pretty cool uh, I mentioned there's a couple exceptions um, Stellar, Tron, Ripple uh, do not uh, work in this interface even though they can still be stored on the ledger You'll have to view their balances and do transfers um, with their uh, appropriate software. So, uh, but let's take a look at this update. I just noticed that there's an update uh, to the software um, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Uh, it might not, uh, I, 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 ooh. <laughs> it may uh, not, uh, it might bump me off. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes when I run updates or install software, it kind of bumps me off of my OBS software. It bumps the display capture. So we might need to deal with that. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit update now. And sure enough, it bumped me off. So I'm gonna stop recording and relaunch. Okay, and it's kind of thrown up a little uh, error message, hopefully. <laughs> oh boy, I think I waited too long. Um, we're going to try that one more time. Glad I didn't do this live, huh? Okay. Let's launch live again. Whoops, that's not live. Ah, it's gone. <laughs> okay. E whoa. Let's see here. I think what it did was kind of uh, uninstall Ledger Live trying to do the update. So it looks like we might need to just run over to the Ledger website and grab this software again. So let's do that. Can be a little, uh, not to panic, you know, just because the software isn't running right. And let's see, let's put this in downloads and see if it stacks up against its uh, earlier cousin, so to speak. Hmm. Oops. Ledger Live. Yes, uh, the newer one is Ledger Live 1.02. So let's check that guy out. Oops. All right. Yeah, so it is a, a newer version of the software running the update from the and there it goes again okay all right so let's go ahead and uh, run the install for the the newest version all right and then we'll just click finish and it recognized me that's nice All right, here we go. Uh, so this actually popped up the first time I installed it, and it has some important information. One of my viewers had mentioned that they had some trouble uh, with uh, their ETH and ETC addresses on uh, my Ether wallet that were not being discovered by the Ledger Live. So apparently they fixed that, and that's great. And then uh, some fix to the Mac OS versions here uh, the app wasn't working properly with some of these earlier versions of the Mac OS. 
there was some uh, fixed a bug that was blocking the device when scanning accounts. Uh, selected accounts in send mode, doesn't refresh fees. So uh, some minor thing, uh, fixed Ripple accounts import if you had opened trust lines before. Uh, I had one of my viewers was telling me that uh, his Ripple balance wasn't showing up properly. Uh, I, I don't see that uh, Live even works with the Ripple, but maybe uh, there was some something broken uh, to the Ripple app when you had Live installed, so uh, try that out. Fix some drag and drop issues, and then they added some minor features. Um, added a way to open the app data folder, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm often opening my app data folder in my videos, and some of my uh, viewers are mystified by that. So this is kind of a shortcut uh, to check under the hood, so to speak. And uh, some other little minor things and polishes, uh, improvement of the error messages, improvement of the logs, and they list a few things here that uh, are still not working that need to be addressed. In, but it's pretty cool. I mean, they just released this thing on Thursday or Friday of last week, and here it is on Monday, and they've uh, released an update for some minor things that have been reported. So uh, bully to all of you who uh, are using the latest uh, version of this thing uh, and reporting bugs to them. Really cool. Once again, I'd like to remind you that I have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, the live Q&A in L.A. I invite everyone to join me and hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I know it was a little bit uh, quick and unpolished, but I thought it was important that I post this uh, early so that people that may be having trouble with this installation, there was a small glitch that I encountered, uh, we'll be able to get everything up to date. Uh, once again, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, click the bell, you know what to do. Thanks for joining and hope to see you again soon.